sometimes the fashion trends on the runway can tell us a lot about where we are in our economic cycle. What are we seeing right now and how does it relate to the overall environment, Mark? You know, this collection for James and I was a little bit more uh, pared down, perhaps, in our, our typical collections. We're usually known for tons of color, a lot of beading, a lot of embroidery, uh, huge sweeping silhouettes. And I think that our girl, uh, she's more tailored this season. She's a little bit more subdued. There's still beautiful embroideries and beading, but it's more of a laser cut focus on the silhouettes. They're closer to the body and a little bit more streamlined. So does price point come down as well? Slightly. And does that say anything about the, the mood right now or the current I, environment? I think that, you know, the fact that Mark said it's a little more streamlined, a little bit less um, superfluous, a little bit less um, buoyant perhaps than it has been in the past. I think we're kind of all geared up for a little bit of uncertainty ahead. And so we, did, we made our collection the same way that we added a lot more tailoring to this season, which our customer feels she's more protected when she's wearing a tailored, like a coat dress instead of just a dress. Mark, is your uh, footprint uh, in China growing or given a relatively high price point? Are you seeing pressure given the luxury pressure that we've seen in, in that economy? It is growing. We opened 16 stores in China and we're hoping to have 30 by the end of this year. Uh, it's a great market for us and uh, we're very excited about what's happening over there for Badgley Risk anyway. Do you source any of your product from China? We Where do. Where are your, most of your factories? We make a lot of our product in China, but we make it wherever it makes sense in the world to make it. We make some things domestically, we make some things in Europe, uh, but the bulk of our uh, collection, the lion's share of our business is done on our collection division and that's all made in China. James, I have a more general question, which is how important actually is Fashion Week? Because I feel like it comes around, it's actually twice a year, right? Not once a year. Twice a year, yeah. And then there's like other cities, Milan, right. so London, Paris. So which is the most important? How much difference does it make if your show goes well or badly to your year's bottom line? Um, it's almost impossible to, to quantify it. Um, you know, you may get embarrassed if your show goes badly. It may be, you may take a drubbing in the press, but you know, the, the collection on the runway is 30 to 50 pieces. The collection itself is hundreds of pieces. So there's always going to be hopefully, if you are a good designer, the right things for the buyers to buy for the stores. And sometimes the runway has absolutely nothing to do with what's in the stores at all. Our time, our collection, usually it does. We want to show what we're going to be able to sell. But a lot of designers put things on the runway that have nothing to do with what's in the stores at all. Mark, you seem to have a fix on, um, you know, maybe a more subdued uh, or s some seriousness among your customers. Is that a generalized thing? And does it reflect an appetite, a lowered appetite for free spending? How does it fit into uh, the demand for just luxury in general. I mean, it's interesting. We're, James and I have just come off our banner year at retail uh, with all of our big department stores. Uh, we had our best sell-throughs that we've had in the history of our 30-year careers. But I still think that she's, you know, a little bit more cautious going into this season. Uh, gone is the stigma where a woman can't wear the same ball gown twice to a black tie. Um, she's shopping differently. But um, we, just, we just felt it coming uh, that we wanted to, to make the clothes a little bit more subdued, a little bit quieter, and a little bit sleeker, more streamlined.